As the Brazos Valley gets ready for Election Day on Tuesday, candidates across the area are doing some final outreach. Three people are running for the mayor of Bryan, including current mayor Andrew Nelson. Well, we've listened to the community for the last three years. We've been moving forward uh, and getting a lot of things done. He tells me that property one and violent crimes are down 19%. Our fire department is ISO certified, which is the highest cert in the country. Plus, the city has been able to partner with Bryan ISD to create a massive workforce in the area. We've also listened on parks. We've uh, updated virtually every park in our community with our parks improvement plan, and we've listened to them about our regional park and done all seven of the top th uh, seven things that this community asked us to do. So we did a lot of listening to over 14, 1,500 people. On issues of parks, specifically the super park, that's where Nelson's opponents seem to disagree. And I think uh, the money could be better spent on other capital improvement projects within the city. Robert Rose has lived in the Brazos Valley for quite some time, even advocating for many bicycle and pedestrian safety laws. The super park is planned to be built on the old municipal golf course on Villa Maria. Rose says there are a number of problems wrong with building this park. There's a significant history of arsenic contamination in the lake. Uh, there's also the issue of accessibility. Will the facilities being created uh, be accessible to the residents? Patrick Giamalva also feels the same way about the super park. I would take the $70 million that they've got allowed in the budget to put this super park in and make this a super park. Giamalva is not a fan that they closed the old golf course. He says he spent years cleaning up around the city, and if elected, he hopes to do the same. Giamalva is a former business owner and believes his experience will help him. And I like to look at myself as a, as a builder with vision, wisdom, and common sense. And I could build a city. I know I can. One thing is for sure, each candidate feels strongly that they would be the perfect fit as Brian's mayor. In Brian, Tristan Lewis, KX News.